Maybe employers need to understand how scientists define stress and its effects on people. William C. Scheel, defines stress as, a physical, mental, or emotional factor that causes bodily or mental tension. Stresses can be external, such as from the environment, psychological, or social situations or internal, such as from illness or a medical procedure. This means that stress, especially in the workplace, can affect you and your fellow employees negatively. According to Dr. Scheel, stress can cause or even influence the development and course of many medical conditions, including psychological complications to include, depression, anxiety, poor healing, irritable bowel syndrome, high blood pressure, poorly controlled diabetes and various other conditions as well. This is clearly going to affect productivity within the workplace if employees aren't healthy due to overwhelming stress. In addition to loss of productivity due to poor health created by workplace-induced stress, there is also the health cost that is going to associated with that. An employer will have to pay 50% more in health costs for their stress employees. If everyone is stressed, that can quickly add up. Between the loss of productivity, workdays, disengagement, and high staff turnover, this will need to be addressed. The first negative effect too much workplace stress has on the business is employee retention. Having too much stress among the employees in the workplace can be detrimental to the business you work with, your co-workers, and most importantly, yourself. Some stress is to be expected, but too much stress can cause employees to become resentful of the business and is a serious killer to overall company morale. Employees, I mean most of them anyway, don't expect the workplace to be stress-free, but they don't expect to hate their lives while they are there. When employees become too stressed, they become disillusioned with the company that they work with. And if one person decides to quit, then you have an issue. If the company culture is stressful and toxic, this is going to come in waves. One person quitting due to stressful conditions can lead to multiple people quitting and leaving a lot of work that is no longer being completed to be passed on to another individual. This can potentially increase the stress level of that individual to the point of them wanting to leave as well. Furthermore, when you and your coworkers are too stressed at work, don't expect to get too much done. An abundance of workplace stress is actually shown to decrease levels of morale within the workplace which is also going to affect productivity. Let's be real, how much work do you actually get done when you're stressed out and unhappy? We don't imagine it's as much as you would like. According to a study by the American Institute of Stress, workplace stress causes an annual loss of $300 billion a year in productivity. What does this mean exactly? It is more expensive, running a business with a stressful work environment than it is to operate a business in a low-stress environment. When employees are too stressed, it is difficult for them to produce work at the quality that is necessary for a client or consumer. It leads to them cutting corners and not making sure that the job was done to the best of their ability due to an unreasonable deadline or them having an overbearing manager. Having to train and hire new employees on a regular basis creates this same issue as well. When you need to hire another employee when you already had an individual who could do the job well but was overstressed in their position, then productivity and time are lost, fulfilling that job and training them to do the same thing. If you want to maximize your company's revenue and minimize your loss in production, you will need to make sure that your employees are not too stressed in their positions within the workplace. Thumb up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you would like to get notified when a new video is on. See you in the next video.